Hey my little Peacheritos and welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to the start of season two of our Disney Princess Challenge. And the start of this is actually gonna be a build because we've already built Snow White's Cottage. It was a fun build actually. I really, really liked the cottage. This I think is gonna be a lot harder, but we need Cinderella, who is the second princess in the Disney Princesses Challenge. We need her mansion. It's actually referred to as Cinderella's Chateau. So we need to go ahead and build that. As you guys can see, I'm in the Von Hort estate in uh, Windenburg because this is where I'm gonna build it. I've changed the lot type to a residential lot. The reason I'm doing it here is one, because it's really, really pretty, but two, because we are gonna check some pictures of the Cinderella Chateau and try and get it as close as we possibly can. We're gonna try and build it as it was in, I think it's like a 1960 movie. It's pretty old and try and get it to match the movie. I'm gonna look at pictures of the movie to do that. So if you guys are excited, please give this video a big cheeky thumbs up and get ready for the Cinderella season, which I'm hoping is going to be coming this week. Don't forget to upload your Prince Charmings. Onto hashtag Claire Siobhan Princes. I make them teens and we will try and get them involved in this challenge. So I have been Googling a lot of pictures of this because if you think of Cinderella, you think of this here, like the classic, like the Disney princess castle. The one that if you go to Disney World, it's based on Cinderella's, like where she ends up, the castle that she ends up in. But she doesn't actually spend the first part of her life there. She spends the first part of her life living with her stepmother, and the stepmother's cat, a dog called Bruno, and two evil stepsisters, all in this house here. So I have been trying to find as many pictures. Well, someone's actually made it. This is a Sims 3 version that somebody made. But I'm trying to get as many pictures as possible of Cinderella's chateau. Now, this is actually from the movie. This one here seems to be the cleanest one possible. So you can see it's like a three floor like that I can see. Yeah, one, two, three. Although it's got steps going up to the house. It must have pretty big foundations. It only has foundations in the middle as well. This I can already tell this is going to be a little bit of a tricky build but it's a three-story house with lots of different sections to it. And it also has a tower that you can see that goes up to another floor. That tower, I believe, is where Cinderella actually lives from the film. So that is where her bedroom is. And as you guys can see as well, there's kind of like this curved driveway sort of leading up to the house, which if you check out here, this estate has the curved driveway. So I was thinking this could work quite well. It does seem to me to be a little bit narrower, which could cause issues. We might have to budge things up a little bit, but I just feel like this is the right place for it. Oh, that's a super clear picture as well. I don't know what that's from, but I'm going to basically try and use all of these to help us with the build. That one's nice and big, so that's going to be super useful. I've also been trying to get as many pictures inside the house. There's not a great deal, but we do have a few. Like, the artwork in this film was actually super, super beautiful. Poor Cinderella had an awful lot to do. Like, look at them skills. She's balancing one on her head. I don't know how she does it, but it's super impressive. But this is kind of the way the inside of the house looked. The house is an art deco, but the art style kind of is. It has that kind of vibe. This is in the tower. This is Cinderella's bedroom. So we'll try and make that as well. Oh, and that's the dress that she originally wears. I think her stepsisters pull apart. The movie's starting to come back to me. It's been quite a long time since I've watched this, but we'll use these as a guide to try and make what we can. Also, the house has like this beautiful gardens behind it with like a fountain and stuff where I think she goes and that's where the uh, fairy godmother like turns the mice into like horses and a pumpkin into the carriage. I think a dog Bruno becomes like the footman as well. So I was thinking since this has beautiful gardens behind it and it has like the fountain waterfall thing over there, it kind of works out pretty well. I feel like this could be a good place for it. Honestly, it would actually probably be an even better place for Cinderella's castle at the end of the movie, but I want a cool place for our challenge. So we're going to try and make it for this. So I've gone ahead and changed the lot type to residential. I'm now going to, I'm real sorry, go ahead and bulldoze everything. Although would it have been useful? Oh, I can't go back. Okay. It's gone. Oh, we can't go back. Okay. That's fine. Let's use this picture here and try and get the basics. So it's like stairs going up. I don't know how in Sims how to make it. I do this by accident sometimes that one block has foundations and the other blocks don't, but let's just see what we can do. The other thing I'm super aware of is I don't think you can build curved in this. So I might have to make her tower an oxygen. Oxygen? Octagon. Oxygen. That sounds like some kind of Maybe, is Oxygen a real thing? I don't know. I'm not very good at my shapes, but I'm just throwing some shapes down for now. Then we'll try and make them into the real thing. I need like a top-down view. That would make things so much easier. But this is the grand hallway as you come in with the staircase. Some little stairs leading up to it there. I need some foundations, which I think I do by doing this. So let's get some foundations leading up to it. This seems a little bit wider, but don't forget I don't actually have that much width 
in this house. And then there's kind of another one that cuts into it a little bit like this, maybe kind of like that. And then another one cuts into it on the side with another bit coming out. Maybe I should do it by the windows actually. Like one, two, gap, one, two. Because if you don't plan your windows, it ends up coming back to bite you in the butt. That I know. One, two, gap, one, two. Mm, that's not quite right. Ah, oh, windows, why do you always stress me out? So if you guys said you like watching me do builds, because I seem just stressed the whole time. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I am stressed the whole time I'm doing builds. Builds are not easy. So I actually think this needs to be a bit wider, because I think it should do that. Yeah, okay, that feels right, because that one, two, gap, one, two, but a little bit of a gap on the edges. I don't know if it really does have that or not, but we'll give it that. And then three below. Man, the cottage is already feeling like a much easier build than this one. Okay, one, two, three. They kind of match, right? I just hope I'm able to get this like higgledy pigglediness of the house. And then there's another bit on the edge handier, but I think that is kind of set one back. Although that one isn't, yeah, I th I feel like this is set one back. Oh, but then it doesn't look set back there. I are they the same? I feel like there's a few differences between these. <laughs> Why is it hard already? <laughs> this is so much clearer though. I'm gonna use this one just because it's clearer. Okay, we got the stairs. I'm already finding this kind of hard. I'm not even gonna lie, but we'll just keep cracking on. It feels kind of right so far. So that's gotta be something. Like that's that bit. And then, and see, this is where I've kind of run out of room because this is this, but there's an extra bit and a thing and I'm not gonna be able to get it all on. I might have to make this bit smaller. It's also really hard because I have no idea what the middle of the house is supposed to look like. Like inside, I don't have a floor plan. So it kind of makes it sort of hard to plan. I think I'm gonna switch this to one. So make this a bit narrower. Cause like I'm trying to do this outside, but I don't know how it's gonna translate to actually inside the house. See if it let me move everything this way. Ooh, I can. It's kind of not, you know, that's actually more central because now the door's in the middle. That makes total sense. Okay, and then we just need to build like the final bit going out, which goes behind this. It's kind of in line with this, I would say. Like this bit, I realize you can't see my mouse. This bit and this bit, I think should be on the same level. So let me move that forward. Now this is tough because there's a circular tower here, but I can't do circles in The Sims. I can do an octagon. Octagon, why do I keep saying octagon? I can't do any smaller than that, can I? But I guess we'll just have to do this bit a little bit differently. I don't like it any more than you guys do, trust me. Now this is the other tough bit because currently you can't build in into your eaves. Like you can't build into the roof, which kind of sucks because this design, like you see these windows here, they've clearly built into the roofs in the chateau, but I can't do that. I can see a tall chimney here. It's kind of very randomly placed, but if this is where the chimney is, this must be where the kitchen is. And there's a little bit here on this side of the house. So I don't have to do the tower, but I, I kind of like the tower, but it's also, mine isn't circle. I wonder if I could just do it as a big old column like that. That is kind of that shape. Kinda, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know anymore. Now we got the big old tower where Cinderella lives. I can't really work out how this comes from on like either of them, but let's give it a go. Okay, just bear with me for now. We'll get meant to curve upwards like this, but I can't do that in The Sims, so I don't know what to do. Let's get some roofs on <laughs> and then see where we end up. Okay, I found the roofs pretty hard. The annoying thing is, really, I need another floor because the tower should look like it's a lot taller than the front of the house. Like, it should really come up. Unfortunately, in Sims, I'm kind of limited and I can't go another floor up. It kind of messes with my plans because I wanted this to have another floor as well. Like, this should have three, but if I do another one, it starts to look the same height as the tower and that kind of just ruins everything. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, the tower is one level above it. I'm going to do that because I feel like it's meant to have this tall bit and without it just kind of looks a little bit sad. I feel like it's kind of the right shape. I can't believe it's taken me an, a whole hour just to do like the very beginning. Okay, let's paint it. The way that the house looks, it kind of to me gives the vibe of it was once really grand, but I think because the stepdad's died, the money situation is a little bit tight, so it started to fall into disrepair. They're kind of like the illusion of grandeur without actually being grand. Another thing is as well, they've got this paint here, which is like the perfect paint to paint it with. It's kind of like a yellowy kind of vibe like this, but I can't choose where, where that's still goes. So like I can't place it myself because I wanted to place it all on this one but it ain't letting me. It's like look it's got it down one half of that wall but then not all the way down. It's just kind of put it on in really weird places. <laughs> oh my gosh just when I'm like we're getting there I suddenly realize you see all the little sticks on the top of all the roofs. I'm off to go add those. This one also has ones going across this one. I feel like this one's 
more OG. This one's easier to copy, but this one's a little bit more OG. So I'm gonna have to try and do this. It's kind of like that, isn't it? Okay, that one was easier than I thought. And the others just have little kind of random spikes. I kind of like this one a bit more. So let's do this one for this. Okay, and then the last thing to do is this ivy. Kind of comes from the right and up here. In this one, it completely covers a lot of the building. Again, this feels a little bit easier to copy for me. Okay, I think... That kind of works. That seems to match. Like the ivy is really annoying to place. I've got all these cool corners ones, but they just don't really seem to stick to the right places. You see how that's pointing outwards? They're like their little magnets are in the wrong place, which is annoying, but let's just move past it. Because this house is tough. This is a stressful build right here. It needs to do all these, use these bushes here. I know it's not going to quite work because I can't join here, but at least having like the shrubbery along the front, I think will be helpful. Kind of like doing the garden though. I've kind of got quite into gardening in real life at the moment. I redesigned a whole garden if we turned it into permaculture, which is where you like grow your own stuff. And it was really fun. And then Ali was like, yeah, that's really messy. <laughs> We're not doing that. Look, this is how it would have looked. And I'm totally distracted now. But look, those plants died. Ignore that. But look, all of our crops. There's an orchard on the left. How freaking cute would a garden be if it was like this? I want the front of my house to look like this. I don't care about a lawn and like a nice pretty lawn. Lawns are actually bad for the environment, okay? Like bees hate them. There's nothing on there for them. Imagine how much bees would love this. Bees and birds and all kinds of stuff. And I'd have a little arch to walk down. And it would just be so nice. This is what I want. Okay, this is what I want. Okay, so I've kept it pretty green in front of the house because that's the way it looks in the pictures. Like, I don't know. It's meant to look a little bit wild, isn't it? There's actually none in front of that one. Oh, but we do have ivy going up the tower. Yay, because we've not placed enough non-magnetic ivy, have we? So let's just place some all. Also, I didn't know what to do with the roof here, so I put a glass one on. And you know what? I kind of think it's cool because look, if you're like under in this room, you get like this nice effect. Look, throughout the day, you get all different colors coming through. And I just thought it was pretty cool. There, we've got some ivy on the tower as well. I think it's starting to look about right. It's honestly, I had bigger dreams. I thought it would look better than it does. But what can you do? Let's go inside because we know we're going to need like a big grand staircase because a lot of these houses seem to have them. I'm pretty bad at stairs. So we should probably focus on trying to make them ASAP because I'm probably going to get them wrong because i wanted it to do that can i make a staircase that goes two different directions let's get some views inside the house she goes up the stairs oh so it's actually a spiral it's a spiral that goes as you're looking towards it's going to the right and then coming around the top i find stairs easier to build outside if you just like do this yeah because look i've already put it the opposite way to what i thought i was doing it let's do it a bit narrower let's do it too bad too i think we're just gonna do it like this. I don't really know what I've created here, but let's move it into the house anyway. University was not fun because I didn't have enough room to trial out my stairs like I'm doing now, so not great. But this feels right. You come in to a spiral staircase. Very like classical to these kind of houses, so that makes total sense. There's also these pillars. So I'm looking at the right house. Maybe instead of this, there's pillars. Because this is like where two rooms are kind of separated. Why don't we get rid of this? And instead we'll do those pillars. It kind of looks like actually, when you get to the stairs, as the wall begins. This is a really hard build. I've spent a long time building many a staircase. I still do not understand how to use that spiral staircase feature. I'm sorry. I just don't. My brain just can't understand it. I've tried. I'm kind of thinking the stairs come up to this wall. So that's what I'm trying to make right now. Okay. And then this is where some bedrooms be going to go, hopefully. Because I've got it. Look, where she comes up the stairs, there's the three doorways and the one at the end, which makes sense because look, three doorways and one at the end. But obviously there's a load of glass here. Now, one thing I noticed was that the roof was really weird because like this was the roof and I didn't know what was behind it. But if I delete that, suddenly the big window starts to make more sense because there'd have been nothing there. Like this room here wouldn't have existed, which I know it's looking weird, but it means I can put in the big like windows here. Plus I felt like it was too big. So I'm kind of glad we've reined it in a bit because when it gets too big, I don't know, it kind of gets stupid in other ways. And now the windows behind her as she comes up the stairs, Makes sense again. See? Windows. Although now I'm looking, they're actually ones to the left. So it doesn't make sense again. <gasps> I've put the window where it is now. So this now lines up with the way that when Cinderella comes up the stairs, she draws the blinds. And then we've got the three doors here and the one at the end. I'm gonna say the one at the end is a bathroom, which I'm gonna split into two. This is actually the chimney breast from the top, which will come straight down. And this will be where the kitchen is because that makes sense if that's the chimney, right? And these are gonna be the three horrible stepmother. The two sisters and the stepmother are gonna go here because this is where she goes and does breakfast on a morning. This is actually, it's hard to tell, but this goes down two floors. So you get light wherever this is, which 
which is going to be like the main entrance. So I think that'll be really pretty, hopefully. And I think before I go any further, I'm going to have to work out a way to do Cinderella's staircase to her bedroom or else we're kind of in trouble there because I don't know how she's going to do it. So I need to try and fit a staircase into this amount of room, which is not a great deal. But the game's already straight up saying like, lol, you and your garbage staircase inabilities end here. Goodbye. Okay, can I put that in? <gasps> okay, I can put this in. So this is where her stairs come up into a room. I wish they were more in a corner, but pfft. I'll see if I can do the exact same thing on the floor below. And do they all like lead into each other as like a little twisty staircase? Oh my gosh, yes, they do. That's perfect. Like if I do like a big, beautiful grand dining room there and then the kitchen's there. And I feel like we need a big chandelier in the hallway. Thing is, it needs to look kind of old school. Maybe like that. That kind of looks right. That like feels like it fits the theme. Ooh, actually this one's better. This one's better. Because this is like the vampires one and I've not used it before. Okay, so look, I feel like I've got pretty close. We've got like this kind of panel in here and over there. And then this is like the blue. And then we've got that red sofa and then red curtains too. Oh, yes. This is kind of the right vibes, isn't it? And then in my head, this is like a recess room over here where they just sit and lounge and oh, maybe a library as well. Okay, I like that idea. Okay, so I've got my little library on the go. I've kept the colors the same, but I'm gonna like rug the floor a lot so it looks different. It kind of looks a little bit dark and gloomy, but the vibe I always got from Cinderella's house is it was like a happy, beautiful family home once. And then when the stepmother kills the stepfather, which is kind of implied, everything kind of goes a little bit sad. I literally am just torturing myself at this point. But I've done a lot of changes. I'm trying to stick to this Queen Anne decor to design the place because it feels right. It's one of the styles. I think it's very much like the vampires style, but it kind of works. And I've just realized how massive, <laughs> when you put a table in here, you realize how big this dining room is. Like it's freaking huge. Ooh, nice big chandelier for in here as well. I'm having actually quite good crack designing this. I can't lie. It is fun. It's also been well over three hours <laughs> since I started this project, but we're having fun and that's all that matters. Thought I'll try and make the table bigger, but now it just looks like it's for the BFG. <laughs> And also, as you can probably tell, I don't know what to do with the colors in this room. I couldn't see any like dining room guidance. And apparently I really need guidance. Okay, so we've got dining room done. Here, I just wanna add some stuff under this window. Like the little globe bar. I feel like it has a place here. I don't know, it just kind of fits the vibe. So we'll put you in and then maybe some chairs. I have nothing to go for on the kitchen really. Like <laughs> there's not really much pictures from it. So I guess I'm just gonna copy this. There's a lot of room here. She's gonna spend a lot of time cooking. This is the um, chimney, so I guess I should put a fire near it. And she needs a little back door because I'm gonna make it so that like she has to tend a garden as well. I'm trying to think of ways like to make it harder and I feel like tending a garden is tough when you're trying to look after that many like selfish little spoiled brats in the house, which is unfortunately exactly what poor Cinderella is gonna have to do. And I get the vibe that because the sisters are never and the stepmother are never gonna cook, they don't really care how it looks in here. So as a result, it doesn't really look all that nice. I also feel like Cinderella should eat in here, like separate from them. Like she doesn't get to use the nice dining room. She has to eat in a little table in here instead. Okay, so I've put her little kitchen in. The weird thing is, even though like she's gonna be like treated like the slave of the house and all that kind of thing, in terms of living conditions, she has actually kind of gone up. She didn't even have a permanent bed in Cinderella. It's like this is where Cinderella grows stuff. So whilst the stepmother and the ugly sisters get like the nice, pretty, relaxing garden, Cinderella's is a little bit more working, I'm afraid. But at least but all of them get access to the grounds, which are really nice. There we go. Little trail. It's kind of annoying that it stops there. And here's Cinderella's to her washing line. Kind of sad. And to her greenhouse. And then I'm gonna like manually plant crops and stuff when I like start the game because I want to plant crops in real life. I'm just kind of doing it in The Sims just to sort of live out that fantasy really. Okay, grounds done. Most of downstairs, all of downstairs really done. This is how this area looks. So we've got these like candle things along the wall. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's perfect. That matches the screenshot. Then I need like double candle things. I guess this is the most similar and I can put mirrors above them. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh my gosh, that actually looks so similar to the screenshot. Yay. Look, mirror with two little candles and mirror with two little candles. And we just got some like little tables. This room's not really got a great deal to it. Ooh, floor, floor is purple carpet. This is probably gonna be the most similar. So I'm just gonna go for that. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. And then the rooms for the sisters, I'm actually gonna keep really similar. I think we do see a little bit of the 
sister's rooms? Yeah, that's the that's the mom's room. Because I remember it's kind of creepy when she has to go in. Look, look, look. And the mom's just, the stepmom's just in the bed. So that is how we'll base the stepmoms. Let's do hers first. Hers is really purple, but with cream carpets. I've done hers as the big one. And then I'm gonna make the sisters' bedrooms like the same as each other, the same amount of like grattiness. The mom's bed is honestly low-key sort of like that. I'm not even gonna lie. The sisters, I'm gonna give these ones. Oh my gosh, it pains me to give them like such nice stuff when we already know they're horrible. Wait, don't they wear specific colors? One pink and one green. Okay, we'll keep that. One pink and one green. There we go. Okay, so I'll change the lighting and stuff when I'm actually like able to do so because I can't change anything at the moment until I'm like properly in the game and we're playing as Cinderella. But these are the ugly sisters rooms. One is green and one is pink and then the purple one, like the creepy one, is the stepmothers. These I'm gonna turn into rooms that we're gonna figure out as we go in. I'll upload the house when it's like fully finished after I've played in it for a bit. But that means the final thing left to do is Cinderella's own little bedroom. Oh look, and she's got a window at the end of her bed because she looks out to the castle. Little uh, good thing to try and remember. And she's got like a little, I think this is actually where she gets in, but with ours she's gonna come up the stairs. And then an open window for the birdies to come in and then just a bed, like it's pretty basic. I realize she's gonna need good sleep. So this bed does 10. I know it's uh, like probably nicer than what Cinderella could ever actually get. But if she isn't able to sleep, it's gonna make things really, really hard. And then I need like a, an open window so that she can look out. No, why does it do that? <laughs> it's in between. I hate when it does this. I'll have to put it here. So it's like literally right next to her bed and it like opens up and apparently the castle is over here somewhere. Imagine there's a big beautiful castle there. All the little tweet birds can fly directly into a room and help her get ready on the morning. And then I'm pretty sure when the like little cute things are like dressing her, she's looking into a mirror. So I should probably give her a mirror. Just a little basic one so she can get ready on the morning. And then I don't want her to go all the way to the other side of the house every time she needs a toilet and stuff. So I'm gonna have to put, and this is kind of gross, I know, but I'm gonna put put a toilet and stuff in where her room is. In fact, let's go for a really old school toilet. I want to give her a bath honestly. Because like I said, I just don't think she can be going all the way to the other side of her house all the time. And I don't think they want her there. Honestly, that's the truth. They don't want her there. So so she's got her own little bits in here. And there we go. Cinderella's basic but charming little room where she sits and looks out the window and dreams of her Prince Charming. And how does it all look from afar? Let us take a look. Here we go, guys. Let us enter Snow White. What is going on in the front of my house? Why are you all blue? No one agreed to that. Stop that. Okay, here here we go. Let's try this again. Welcome to Cinderella's Chateau, the place where we will be moving our Cinderella to unfortunately live a life of getting pushed around by her stepsisters and sort of becoming free human labor. But we all know Cinderella has a happy ending. Let's hope ours does as well. And I've tried to make the inside of the house look as close as possible with a little bit of like doing my own interpretation of what Cinderella's Chateau looks like. This one was a lot harder because unfortunately there aren't any decent pictures online for it. There's a few and also not everything in the game kind of matched, but I did the best I possibly could. So I'm excited to move Cinderella in. Let me know what you think of it. And I'll also explain all the rules of the Cinderella part of the challenge once we get into playing with her. There's not as many with this one. So what I think I am gonna do instead is kind of uh, just interpretate my own a little bit. But the essence of the challenge is basically gonna be Cinderella having to kind of be a little bit of a free slave for her horrible stepmom. We're gonna have to kill Jay Huntington and her two evil stepsisters. And I'm pretty sure there's a mean old cat as well. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. It's your support that helps me keep making these challenges, keep doing these fun builds. So please give the video some love and get ready for the Snow White, uh, the Cinderella challenge coming very soon in our Cinderella Chateau. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.